Today we're just checking out an area where there was some some buildings back in the 30s. Uh, they've been torn down for quite some time. We're not quite sure what they are, but we figured we'd check it out. First signal. Oops, let me turn this back on here. The first signal. Mostly in the copper range, so we'll see what we have. Now let's see if that does it. So let's see what the first signal of the day is. And I missed it. Oh, by just a scotch. Hmm. Oh, there we go. It's don't know what that is, but just some trash. Next signal. Solid copper signal. So we'll check it out. There, let's see what that does. That is not not an old coin, just a fishing lure. Pretty much in the zinc range, but we're still going to check it out. I don't know, it might have been. Let's see if this does it. Yep, right on top of it. Let's see, we might have to pop it out with the digger here. And what do we have? It's, is that an Indian? <laughs> yes, it is. We have an Indian. Nice. Um, I can't really, I think it says night. 1901, but I could be way off because my eyes equal bad. Or that could be 18 something. I don't know. I'll have to clean it up a little bit and find out. But that's a good find. I've been on a roll lately with Indians. Skippy just got himself a mercury dime. 19. Yeah, I didn't see. 18? 19 something. So we'll that's call a cool it 1700. find. Yeah, yeah, 1700 mercury dime. <laughs> They're very rare. <laughs> and if you find one, they give you a million dollars. If you find one, you should probably stop drinking. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so that's a cool find. Hopefully, there's more out here. Like for me, not so much for Skippy, more for me. Because it's all about me. It's your turn now. And the next signal. Low copper range, so we'll check it out. I'm only about 10 feet from where I just found that Indian. So you never know. Maybe this will be another one. I doubt it, but... It could be. And where'd it go? Did I miss it? I bet I totally missed it because I was yapping and not paying attention to where the target was. Oh, is this on? Yeah, that's on. I did miss it. It's up here more. See if that does it. Yep, right there. And I moved it, whatever it is. Wherever it is. There it is. And what do we have? We have a penny. And I think it's a weedy. Cool, I'll take that. Yep, definitely a weedy. I see the one cent on the back. So that's cool. So we have an Indian, a Weedy, and a Merc all on a straight-ish line within about 30 feet of each other. And the next signal. Another one in the zinc range. Maybe it'll be another Indian. I'm not going to count on it. 
but I wouldn't complain, that's for sure. There, now, oops, get back open. Yep, right there. Okay, where are you, pal? You're in my, oh, I dropped you. And you are just a memorial? I think it's just a memorial. You know, the back is really crunchy, so I think it might be another weedy. But it's so crusty, I can't tell. Oh, wait, nope. Yeah, it's a weedy. Very difficult to see, but I'll take it. That's a cool find. Just a couple feet from that weedy, get another one that's in the high 60s. So maybe this will be another weedy. <laughs> Look at that, right, right on top of it. So that should, that should do it. That did do it. That is not a weedy. Whatever it is, it's seafoam green. I'm getting another signal in the copper range. And again, I'm only about six or eight feet from that weedy. So we'll check this out. There, let's see what we have here. So it's right in the center of the hole. And I moved it. So it's in my hand. And what do we have? Definitely another, pe oops, another penny that I just dropped. And let's see, I can't really see. And I dropped it again. Let's try this again. Another weedy. Yeah, I see the one cent on the back. So that's three weedies in this area. Three weedies, an Indian, and a Merc. So it's definitely worth gonna, worth gonna, me talk words. It's definitely worth checking this area out a little bit longer. And the next signal, mid-tone, jumping from the 20s into the 50s. Probably another head stamp. We'll check it out. Right on top of it. Just a little deeper here. So let's see. Oh, still a little deeper. Oh, we're going to have to see if we can pop it out with the digger. Let's see what that does. There, that should probably do it. That probably didn't do it. Oh, I moved. I threw it out. There it is. Where is it? <laughs> yeah, it's a head stamp. Oops, I'm falling. There it is. And the next signal. Up into the dime range. Copper to dime, so we'll check it out. Oh, that's roots or something here that are making it hard to... Well, let's see. Well, I was able to get a little bit of a hole. Let's see if we can find where the target is and concentrate on digging that part. Nope, we're going to have to make it bigger. Ouch. Hmm. Oh, zip ahead. Since you're right here, I'm being a little dim. Where do you get a target here? Right there, huh? So right where I was digging the first time. Go down. It's got some depth to it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that will give me an idea. Oh yeah, there it is. Now oh, the quest question is, see I knew Skippy was good for something. I don't usually find use for him, but every now and then. Okay, where'd it go? Oh, 
Apparently I got it out. I don't see anything. No, oh, that was a lot of work for just this little thingamahoos. It looks like maybe a rivet to a pair of jeans or something. Oh well. Say la vie. I went back over the hole, still getting a signal. And it's right over here. So my first one was over there. This is off by a little bit. So let's see if we can figure out what it is. Oh, I just, oh, I moved it. Oh, do I see shiny? I see shiny. Let's see what we have here. It is a barber. <laughs> nice, that's the first barber I've got in a long time. That definitely deserves an add up pepper. So I'll take that. That's a cool find. I can't really see the date, but I'll clean it up a little bit. And we'll get a date off it. So there's the front. There's the one dime on the back. So that made it worth coming out here. So that's so far two silvers, an Indian, a couple Wheaties. So we're definitely going to keep checking this area out. And the next signal. Good solid quarter signal. So we'll check it out. There we go. Let's see. What do we have here? Okay, right on top of it. Oh. I see shiny again. Let's get a picture of this puppy with my iPhone here. I think I'm going to get a picture. There we go. Get a picture of uh, in the hole because that'll be fun. Okay, so let's see what it is. I think it's a Washington. I was wrong. Nice, SLQ. There's the back with the eagle. There's the front. We can't get a date, but that's not unusual because they have the raised date. So this is probably one of my best hunts in a long time. Two silvers, both of them older. Oops, and I just dropped it. But I, I always like the eagle on the back of this quarter. I always thought that's a nice design. So two silvers for me and a silver for Skippy. Plus two um, Wheaties and an Indian. And the next signal. It's jumping around, but we'll check it out. It's peeking up into the 80s. Ouch. So there's roots here. Let's see if that's going to be deep enough, or if we're going to have to do some finagling. No, not deep enough. Oh, oh, that's my knife. I'm not my knife. That's my shovel. There. Let's see. Oh, I just. Oh, it's in the side here, or oh, at the bottom. Oh, I moved it. Whatever it is. Oh, it's in my hand, whatever it is. Oh, there we go. Awfully deep coin. Let's see what we have. It's a penny, whatever it is. Oh, it might be another Indian. I think it is. It's tough to see, but I'm pretty sure that's another Indian. Nice, that's two Indians on the day. Two Indians, two silvers. This has certainly been a great hunt so far. And the 
next signal. 50s mid-tone. Not too deep. We'll check it out. We'll see what it is. Not expecting much. Probably just a head stamp, but we've been having luck in this area, so you never know. Oh. <laughs> that is just a piece of trash. And the next signal. Mid-tone. Could be a nickel. More likely a head stamp or something, but we're still going to dig it. There are a couple loops in the way, but that's all right. There it is off to the side here. Let's see. Underneath the root. Did I move it? Oops. Did I moved it. Huh. Just another uh, rivet or something. It almost looks like a Parcheesi game piece. <laughs> 20s and 30s. We'll check it out. There, yeah, let's see if that does it. Uh, I must have missed it. It's on? That's on. Make my hole bigger. It. Oh, yeah. That's what I was gonna say. It didn't seem that deep, but. Oh, I just moved it. It was right on the side here. And I dropped it. Come on. All right. Up. Oh, there we go. Just a 22 shell. And the next signal, deep one in the copper range, so we'll check it out. Ow. Oh, I just knelt on something with my bad knee. That was brilliant. There. There, let's see if that does it. Right in the side here. Let's see if we can pop it out with the digger here. Okay, we missed it by just a scotch. Oh, is that? No, that's a rock. Right on top of it. There we go. I'm betting that does it. Come on, where are you? Oh, <laughs> it's an old, um, an old jackknife or something. That was awfully deep for that. I wasn't expecting that. That's a cool little find, though. We'll clean it up. Okay, I didn't record it, but I did just dig up this, whatever this thing is, uh, the whistle who's it. So I'm not sure what it is. If anybody knows what that came off of, whether it came off of a pair of suspenders or whatever, uh, leave a comment because I'm kind of interested to see what this was. And again, the same hole, just another little buckle. So it was all part of something I'm guessing well obviously it was part of something but I mean the same something there are times when I should just not speak and the next signal mid-tone 20s and 30s oh now it's dropping into the teens oh well we'll still dig it Loose, uh, un very uncompact soil here, we'll say. A lot of roots and stuff to make it very soft. A lot of little roots, tiny little ones. Oh, 
it go? I just... Yep. Come on. Where are you there, buddy? What the... Okay, this is... This is weirding me out here. There it is. And it's just a head stamp. Skippy just found this uh, thing. It's got a lot of pretty on it. And there's more in the hole. I'm guessing that's part of it during the Oops. discussion. This isn't the same hole. Oh, it's not the same hole? <laughs> oh. They all look alike to me. We'll see what he has in this hole anyway. And then we'll take a... Uh, Better look at that thing. It's got like the, the Stargate symbols on it. See in rust, I don't like it. Oh yeah, that's just uh It's like the same thing, but just iron. Oh yeah it is. It's exactly the same. No, oh, that's funny. So he's got a iron one and then uh a Stargate one. That's kinda cool. There you go. And the next signal. It's up into the quarter range. It does seem a bit large, though. We're still going to dig it, though. Yeah, right there. Let's see if the one stump of the shovel get, gets it. Yep. There it is. Just a big old chunk of rusty old metal. And the next signal. Where is it? There it is. Solid 93, 92. It does seem a bit large, but we'll still dig it. We're going to find out what it is. There, it wasn't reading that deep, so let's see if that does it. Yeah, right on top of it. And it's just a... Uh, I don't know what that is. Maybe it was part of like a hood ornament or something. Because there's some tires here, there's an old door over there, and Skippy just found a square nail. So that's odd. It looks like a very uh, recent trash dump here, like I want to say recent, probably 60s or so, but then he's finding a square nail. So that's, that means there could be older stuff here also. Getting a signal here. It's a little jumpy, but it's peeking up into the 90s and it's reading kind of deep, so we'll check it out. What? Let's see what we've got going on down here. Did we miss it completely? I know it was reading deep, but I didn't think it was that deep. Oh, yeah, maybe it was that deep. Okay, let's see if this does it. Oh, right on top of it. What do we have? Oh, is that a bridle? A horse bridle, Rosette? Just a plain one, but it's got this buckle on the back. So that's kind of a cool find. And the next signal. 60s and 70s. It does seem a lit, a lit, a bit large, but we'll still dig it. Now yeah, let's see what we've got here. Okay, right on top of it, right in the center of the hole. Hmm. Oh. Nope. Okay, a little deeper. There's a root or something down there, making it harder to dig. I hope it's not under that root. Oh, seems like it's off to the side here. Huh. Maybe it was off to the side the whole time. Yeah, that should do it. 
That didn't do it. Oh, I guess it did. There it is, and it's a, uh, ah, oops, I just dropped it. It's a, some kind of an old buckle. I don't think it's that old, but it's still a cool little find. There was more in the hole, so this was obviously something that went to the same thing that the buckle did. So I'm not sure what that is, just a loop. That's a cool little find anyway. And the next signal, 20s up into the 40s, solid mid-tone, in the nickel range, but out here I'm betting more on a, uh, what do you call it, a head stamp more so than nickel. Yeah, it wasn't reading that deep, right there. So I'm betting if I just pop it like this, oops, let me turn the shovel around, and I probably just stabbed whatever it was. And yep, that's what it was, a head stamp. And the next signal. 20s, 30s. Could be a nickel, more likely a head stamp. But we don't want to pass them up just in case. Oh yeah, it's just below the surface. Not deep at all. I'm betting that'll do it. Right there. Oh, it's deeper than I expected. And it is just a head stamp. <laughs> 